I just dropped my one phone. Sorry. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, it kind of looks like you don't have pants on. I have pants on, people. Okay, I have pants on. Ah, I kind of don't want to be here. <laughs> so, it is Faith Wrestle Friday. It's a rainy Friday here in St. Louis. I'm on both of my pages as usual. I got my rainy hair, fresh face. Um, haven't even showered because I wasn't going to do Faith Wrestle Friday. And I'm pretty sure that this is probably bugging a lot of you, so I will fix it. Um, I don't want to be doing this. Um, my assistant is out of town. If you could say some prayers for Rachel and her family. Um, uh, and so I don't have any videos in the queue. So, um, that's why my take care Tuesdays and therapy Thursdays, which there have not been any of them. And my Faith Russell Fridays have been live and I'm live on both my pages right now. That's why I'm looking at both the holes. Have you seen my video on that. Um, so I'm going through a thing right now and I'm not really ready to share it. It's just um, a faith wrestle. Um, and when I was walking the dogs, hi Melissa, thank you for being here. Hi Melinda, hi Becky and Michelle. Um, so I was walking the dogs. I was doing Marco Polo with my friend Christy and Michelle. Um, are you guys on Marco Polo? Because it's kind of awesome. And um, my friend Christy was challenging me. And she goes, oh my gosh, it's Faith Wrestle Friday. Like, that. this is perfect. And I'm not really ready to talk about the thing that um, I am working through scripture on and with um, Christy and Michelle. Um, and I heard... God, like I had not even gotten that message from Christy. And God was like, it's Faith Wrestle Friday. And... Um, you're on a need to know basis. And you, child, don't need to know. And so the word obedience keeps coming up for me. Um, how Am I an obedient daughter when I have no idea what he is doing? <laughs> like, what does he want me to work on? What does he want me to focus on? I don't know what he's doing. And I had a friend tell me that where there is confusion, that is the enemy. Um, and we need to be still and seek the Lord and his word. And as I have shared in my Faith Wrestle Fridays, I did not grow up in the Word, and I um, I am not an expert in Scripture, and I don't look up much stuff um, before I go live or I share on the Scriptures that I'm going to share on. Half the time, I just Google the Word that I'm struggling with, and then like I Google the Word and put Bible verse, and the list pulls up, and God shows me which one I need to be looking at. So today, when he said, you, um, it's a need to know basis and you, daughter, don't need to know. Um, and then it was obedience. So I, of course, Googled obedience. And one of the first things that, again, I am wearing pants. One of my phones kind of shows one of my bare legs. I'm wearing pants, I promise. <laughs> ah, okay, so um, James pulls up. And for those of you who don't know, one of my tattoos, um, one of my life verses is James 1, 2, consider it pure joy. Um, so when I looked up obedience, um, what came up was James 1, 23 through 25. If some fail to do what God requires, it's as if they forget the word as soon as they hear it. One minute they look in the mirror, and the next they forget who they are and what they look like. However, it is possible to open your eyes and take in the beautiful, perfect truth found in God's law of liberty and live by it. 
If you pursue that path and actually do what God has commanded, then you will avoid the many distractions that lead to an amnesia of all true things, and you will be blessed. So I marked it up. I had already had, you can see the blue I already had marked up. The blue that I had marked up was, it is possible to open your eyes and take in the beautiful, perfect truth found in God's law of liberty, freedom, right? And live by it. But then with this thing that I'm wrestling through, um, what I marked up today was, you know, one minute they look in the mirror and the next they forget who they are. So last week, my was that last week that my nose cried on live TV or live Facebook? <laughs> live TV. It was the week before, I think. But one minute they look in the mirror and the next they forget who they are. I am a loved daughter of the one true king. And when I forget that, and I don't pursue the path that God has commanded, the many distractions that lead to an amnesia of all true things. I am on a need to know basis. And I don't need to know. And you know, the crappiest part about this is that I have one of those stories. Like, I, I mean, you, you know my story at this point. Like, how did I survive? two back surgeries in high school and a year of my life in a body cast. How did I survive infertility treatments and three lost babies and life without my own children without knowing Christ? I survived it because that's what led me to him. Like, I know I'm on a need to know basis. Like, I know that. And I know I can trust him. I could really, I kind of, I keep joking about it, but like, I could really use a text message that is really clear in tone. For him to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. There's Gertie. She's saying hi as usual. So I don't know. When I looked up obedience, James 1, 23 through 25 popped up. And I, I have been avoiding this live for about 20 minutes. I even made a bitmoji. And I was watching the rain, sitting in silence, waiting for him to like show me something and tell me something. And it was the same thing. Like, I told you to go live. I told you that you are in a need to know and you, my love, don't need to know what I'm doing right now. So I will look in the mirror, which is the word, and I will seek wise counsel with my friends who are fellow Christ followers. And I will remember who I am, which is a loved daughter of the one true king, and I will be quiet and I will listen for direction for what he is doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm pretty clear on what he's telling me not to do. So that part has been pretty easy because he is pretty firm on that stuff. On what I'm not supposed to be doing. He communicates pretty clear with me on that. It's the other part. So... Again, I'm just going to end on the scripture today because I don't really know what my point was. <laughs> if some fail to do what God requires, it's as if they forget the word as soon as they hear it. One minute they look in the mirror and the next they forget who they are and what they look like. However, it is possible to open your eyes and take in the beautiful, perfect truth found in God's law of liberty and live by it. If you pursue that path and actually do what God has commanded, then you will avoid the many distractions that lead to an amnesia of all true things, and you will be blessed. All right, thanks for watching. That was super clear. I feel so much better and have so much more clarity. Lean into it. Stand on his firm foundation. Because that is the truth. All right. Thanks for watching. 
Um, please, um, I know it's a gift to be able to do these on Facebook, but um, I would really appreciate it if you headed over to YouTube and subscribed there. Um, I have a ton of content over there. And this will be up on YouTube eventually, too, on the channel. So make it a great day, and um, I'll see you next week for whatever videos I decide to put out. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>